Hey, it's David. Welcome or welcome back to Cross Fitness, helping men and women get in the best spiritual shape of their lives, one workout at a time. Quick thought in this video that I'm calling how to make better decisions. Okay, so, you know, we've all made dumb to dumb, dumb, dumb decisions. Okay, you know, welcome to the human race, right? Well, I'm doing a devotion with some guys at church and it's talking about, you know, good decisions, godly decisions, wise counsel, that kind of stuff. And it just had a flashback, you know, before I was married, you know, this was like 40 years ago, I had a flashback almost immediately when I'm doing this devotion of two bad decisions that I made, one with uh, a relational decision and one a purchasing decision. So join me when I'm a checkout clerk uh, at Kroger, okay? And uh, a girl comes through my line, she hands me a note, slips me a note that says, don't tell nobody I gave you my phone number. And I had her name on her phone number. Well, that's just wrong on several levels. And you can discern that easy. You know, first of all, it was bad grammar. Secondly, why don't you want me to share this with anybody? What you got to hide? What secrets are you carrying here? Uh, but anyway, I, I succumbed to the temptation. I called the number. And I entered into one of the worst seasons of my life relationally in my entire lifespan immoral, unethical, impure, ungodly, tragic, traumatic, dramatic, awful. Okay, so uh, let's go on to another one. Uh, a purchasing decision. Okay, so we're still working at that same Kroger. I was making like five fifty an hour, all right? And so I go down, drive by car lot, and see this beautiful Trans Am car, a used car, right? Sticker price, $6,250. Why do I remember that? Because it's galvanized in my spirit what a stupid decision I made without even, even disputing the price, consulting anybody, going home, sleeping on it, talking to anybody. You know, I pretty much, I bought the car. I bought the car. Took up two-thirds of my income, insurance, gas, everything. I didn't even, didn't even argue with them about the price. Paid full, full asking price at a used car lot. Are you kidding me? I did it. All right, back to my opening intro uh, song. Dum da dum dum, dum da dum dum dum. It's like, what was I thinking? Well, of course I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking correctly. I just had stars in my skies and uh, eyes and sparkles there, both relationally for that uh, bad relationship and this bad purchasing decision. So, uh, what's the moral of the story there? Well, hey. You know, I'm older, I'm wiser, I'm smarter, I'm in the Word of God every day, I'm in church regularly, I'm in a small group, I've got an inner circle, I've got accountability people, I've got, well, now I'm married and have a, a brilliant, smart, discerning, godly wife. So, I mean, you know, I'm the captain of the ship, but she's the radar, thank you, Lord. So, you know, I've got so many policies, procedures, and protocols in place to prevent me from making ungodly, unethical, immoral decisions that... I can basically go through life making good decisions. And so, you know, and, and really, I guess that's the big idea. How to, make, how to make better decisions? Well, put the framework in place to help you make better decisions. We can all do a knee-jerk thing. We can all do an impromptu uh, purchasing decision. You know, it's like walking through the line at Walmart. I mean, they, they, they market all the stuff right there for a, a spontaneous, last minute, I didn't think about this, but I want that candy bar decision, right? And it's all right there with lots of market research behind it to get you, to entice you, like a fisherman trying to bait, bait a fish to get a fish. Well, the devil's no different, and our culture's no different. And they all want, you know, it's, 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 it's a profit thing, you know, they're after the money, uh, and it's working quite successfully to keep people in debt, and keep people engaged on social media, to keep people in addiction with nicotine and the cigarettes, and on and on and on we go. So, you know, from the beer commercials to everything else we could we could name in our in our cultural moment, it's trying to lure us into, you know, living our life according to someone else's dream for it. Okay, so let's make better decisions today. That's what I'm saying. And we have the wherewithal to do that. So let's just do what the Bible says. Uh, let's tap the brakes. Let's pause, pray, and obey. And ask the Lord, invite the Holy Spirit into our decisions. And, um, and just put, 
put some distance between us and, and uh, a, you know, a spontaneous knee-jerk decision that we could live to regret later. Okay, we, I can go on and on about this, tell you about all my horror stories and scars and limps and war stories of bad decisions that I made, but I'm getting better. Praise the Lord. Well, I hope that encourages you a little bit. Uh, for that, I'm David, your virtual mentor, reminding you that I'm always for you. I'm never against you. God bless. Take care.